Well, good morning, good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to today's webinar, which is uh, Spec Expert Product Launch. Appreciate you all being here. Um, hopefully, it's going to be interesting for you. Um, probably going to be a bit shorter than normal ones. Typically, we take about 45 minutes. Um, this one is probably a little bit shorter at about 30 minutes, but we'll see where we go. It depends on the questions at the end. Okay, my name is Andy Osborne. I'm Director of Global Business Development for CA Experts, uh, and I'll be taking you through today's webinar. Okay, so just to look at the agenda, uh, we're going through the brief introduction right now. Uh, we'll then go on to a technical overview. Uh, it will be fairly high level, um, but uh, you can ask questions at the end, so please fill in any questions you have in the question panel and we'll get round and answer them at the end. We're then going to summarize. I've got a couple of questions I would like your feedback from and then we go into the audience uh, participation bit. Um, as usual, we're recording the webinar, so this will be made available for viewing either through the link or probably on YouTube as well. Um, and you'll get that, uh, that information through a couple of days after the webinar itself. Okay, so let me go through uh, the technical overview and we'll see where we get to. So we just start off by considering some common issues around uh, piping specifications. Firstly, um, to ensure that you have error-free component placement within the project within Smart3D, you do physically have to place components to figure out whether this is going to be a problem or not. Things like implied items, gaskets, bolts, nuts, etc., must be defined, and they're not always easy to spot whether they're, uh, they're part of the uh, uh, component or not. Now, you can do this manually. You can just sit down and manually go through and check every component, and that's, that's okay. But, of course, by doing that manually, you may actually miss some components, so you may not have tested thoroughly all of the components or even the combinations of the components. And of course the other side of it is it's a time-consuming process um, and there's not many people would want to carry on and do a lot of manual placement of components to check the spec. So that's on the piping spec side. When we come to bulk load sheets um, there's a number of things here. So typically, bulk load sheets are generated incrementally when changes are needed. So you may start off with a full set of components you're loading in, but as you need to change it, you need to have an incremental sheet for the add, modify, delete uh, requirements within that. So for each change made, there will be a new bulk load sheet that you need to manage alongside the previous sheets. And all of these sheets need to be managed from both a revision point of view and also from a loading sequence point of view. So you could end up with multiple uh, sheets, maybe 30, depending on the number of uh, revisions you've done, uh, that you need to then run in in sequence. So if you do want to load them into another project, this can be a challenging process, especially if you've uh, done some manual fixes part way through. So for example, you may have revise the code lists uh, during the process. Um, so this would also need to be taken into account and sequenced to ensure correct loading of the bulk load sheets. Okay, so we're really talking about uh, the Spec Expert launch today, and I wanted to just give you some um, idea as to what drove us down the path of putting this together. Firstly, on the spec tester side, um, the original product for spec tester required that you had to test the whole spec. So there was no kind of uh, selection on parts of the spec um, if you wanted to just test certain uh, components. So that's now been addressed. And of course, we also worked on the robustness in terms of if there's a fault, you don't want to end up after a couple of hours of running with a zero result. So, so there's been a number of changes made. Uh, in this area. Bulk load generator was the other product that we had for the bulk load sheets and really what we've done is combined these two together. 
Um, but what we've now done is expanded out the number of bulk load sheets that get generated when we use this. So that covers all the code lists and, and other uh, items as well. And I will be showing you the kind of output that you get uh, very shortly. We also have a client-driven requirement for bulk load sheet comparison. And so we delivered that first to the client before making it available to everybody else. But again, this is a further extension of the bulk load generation capability. And again, we'll go into a bit of detail as to what that does uh, shortly. And of course, really what we wanted to do was provide a greater value to our clients. So we've merged all of this together into a single product to support spec admins. Um, it gives you fewer products um, at, a, at a much more uh, advantageous price. Okay, so let's take each one of the items in turn. So verifying component placement with spec expert. So firstly, what we're doing is a quality assurance check of all the spec components for any spec that we want to check. The system attempts to place every component in the Smart 3D model. Any that are not placed are reported, and we're using the um, the to-do list within Smart 3D to capture that and report out. We are verifying the implied items that they exist, such as bolts, nuts, washers, and gaskets. So that's all taken care of. And the overall checking process only takes a few minutes of user interaction. But if you compared it to the manual testing, it would save around about 90% of the man hours associated with doing that. Of course, finally and most importantly, this is something which is ideally run after you've run the verify consistency check within Smart3D itself. And not only have you run it, but then you resolve the problems. And this will really help then the, the spec expert side of it really finishes off the final part of the quality check. So that's enough about uh, verifying placement. Uh, from the bulk load sheet generation side of it, we're generating the bulk load sheets directly from the Smart 3D catalog. So you can then take those and load them in again. And again, what it's doing is guaranteeing 100% synchronization when loading these specs into other projects. So what you end up in project two is exactly what you started with in project one. It removes the need to load multiple bulk load sheets in the correct sequence. So instead of now having 30 that you have to manage uh, the order of loading, you can now just generate one and move that across to the project. And of course, we've got a very simple user interface, which means there is no end user training. Uh, there is a user selection of which Smart 3D project you want to look at. You then select the pipe specs for export using the tick boxes, and then request creation of the bulk load files, and then all of the files are generated for you. And again, I'll be showing you how this works very shortly. So let's move on to the newest feature, which is this bulk load sheet uh, comparison. I'm not spelling mistake. I apologize for that. Um, but we're looking really at comparing two different bulk load sheets. Bulk load sheet one could be supplied by a client partner or internally in terms of this is now the status of the uh, spec that we would like to see. Bulk load sheet two could be an extraction from the Smart 3D. So it could be a representation of what's currently loaded into the system. It really doesn't matter. It's, it's just two different bulk load sheets we're talking about. So what we're really doing is running this comparison and uh, creating this comparison bulk load sheet. We actually capture the differences between those two sheets. And then we can apply that difference bulk load sheet to the Smart 3D catalog, which then synchronizes the content in line with that original sheet. Now, if that's a little bit complex, I'll go through with some graphics to show what we really mean here. So what it does, it removes the potential for introducing discrepancies between what is required and the final catalog that you finish with. And of course, it also dramatically reduces the effort required to align your Smart 3D catalog with those project requirements. 
Okay, so this is a sample of the user interface. So as you can see at the top here, we've got the project that's been selected from a drop-down. So the drop-down will list all Smart 3D projects on your system. We've got the username that we're accessing here. And very simply, we've got a list of all of the specs, which we can expand out into the bore sizes, bore ranges. And very simply, we just select the spec and click Run. That is about all you need to do in terms of user interface for this. I'll come on and show you the results in a minute. If we look at the bulk load extraction, this is exactly the same. So again, you're selecting the project. You then select the spec that you want. Uh, you define the files you want to extract. And then you simply just say, create the bulk load sheet from the catalog and it will then extract the information into the various bulk load sheets for you. So as I've said, very, very simple user interface. And then when we're into the comparison of bulk load files, um, very simply we have the requested files and the current files and we have a folder for the results. So A, B and output. And again, we just simply run this by saying compare and we get the results published. So this graphic really kind of explains and hopefully brings it a little bit more together the way in which it works. So if we have the Smart 3D catalog and we have Spec Expert, the first aspect of it is testing. This is very fine placement. So what we can do is run this and we get a couple of outputs. The first thing we're doing is we're generating a series of components by placing them directly in the Smart 3D environment. So each bore size is given a run. We're placing pipe, we're then placing the components and the different combinations of those components. At the end of this, you can run isogen and clearly that will give you a good indication about the materials within the bill of material report. It will give you the S key so you can check that the S key definition is correct and also make sure that everything works okay from an isogen perspective. Also clearly because it's uh, placed in the 3D model, you can visually check that everything looks okay and uh, as you would expect it. So that's from a visual point of view and from the isogen perspective. I did say we use the to-do list and we capture the information from that. So one of the first things that we do is capture any parts that were not placed. And this is all published into an access database uh, just for ease of use. So we can see all of those components. What we can also do though, um, we've got these different reports. So again, you've got a better uh, view of the report in terms of parts placed, not placed. And we can look at the to-do list entries and we can see all of the different items that need further investigation. And from this, clearly you would then go through, fix the issues that it's highlighting, run it again until you're happy with the final result. Okay, so that's the spec expert for the testing side. For the bulk load sheet extraction, then simply if what I do is click on this. This will open up a list of all of the bulk load sheets that get generated. So we've got the spec data, the code list, generic dimensional data, insulation data, material control, catalog data, the options and the plant rules. And so any one of these you can open up and take a look at. Uh, so maybe we take a look at plant options, or maybe not. Let's just open something like, let's, let's open the, let's open the code list. Let's do that. Let bring this across so you can see it. Okay, so again, what we've done is put an index sheet in. So this is not part of the normal bulk load sheet. Uh, but then you can look at each one of these and navigate directly to that table. So uh, as we look down here, we could look at, for example, um, the material uh, description or come back to the index. 
um, we could take a look at uh, materials type. So what we've got is various different um, the headings. We've got the start, the end, all of the various different things and all the code lists uh, shown down here. And of course at the bottom when we finish the run we will have the end statement. So this is all fairly standard from a bulk load sheet point of view, but as you can see there's a fairly comprehensive list now uh, that gets generated from that. Okay, so the final step in the process within this is to look at the um, the compare function. So we've got the current bulk load file, the requested one, we do the comparison and output the uh, delta. So if we look at the first one, then again we've got the same sort of thing, the index, all of the various different tables uh, that we could go and look at. We have our requested one, which is a different bulk load sheet. And then we run the comparison. So what we get after we've run the comparison is effectively a listing of all of the tables which are being compared. And then any differences are then recorded. So what we can see here that for the pipe and commodity filter table, we have two added, one modified, and two deleted. So again, what I can do is skip to that. And we can actually see now that we've got the modify, delete, and add statement at the beginning of each one of these rows uh, against the various uh, components. So now we can just run this one in, and that will bring that in line with that requested sheet. So hopefully that's clear um, from your point of view. Okay, so that pretty well gives you the overview. Uh, as I said, it was going to be fairly quick run through. So to summarize, um, we've looked at verifying placement where spec tester physically places all the parts and combinations of parts, reporting those possible errors with around about 90% man hour savings on the manual task. We can regenerate the bulk load sheets from the Smart 3D catalog. We can compare and generate different bulk load sheets. And of course, what we see is that if you're a spec admin, you're using um, Smart 3D, that really spec expert is an essential tool uh, for you to use within your work.